Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Scorpio. For your March 2023, you can apply this to any replacements. What karma are they facing? So we're going to take a look at someone that you're currently dealing with or have dealt with in the past, how this person is doing you dirty or did you dirty, and we'll finish off the read to see uh, what karma this person is facing or will face. Apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, switch the roles if you want. It could be... Um, uh, it could be uh, karma that you're cycling through. So um, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique, unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Um, so let's get started. Uh, Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. A person that Scorpio dealt with or is dealing with, how did uh, this person do Scorpio dirty? How did this person do Scorpio dirty? All right, we have the Three of Wands here and the Queen of Wands. I don't know. I feel like this person gave you false hope. Like, I feel like someone here might have promised the future here, but didn't deliver here. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is so interesting. One of the things I'm getting is that I feel like not only did you get attached to this person, I feel like you got attached to this person's pet, dog, cat. And I feel like maybe, you know, this person has made you feel guilty. If you were ever to leave or think about leaving, they, they, they guilt you because they make you feel bad because you're leaving the pet behind. Does that make sense? Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. The Tower, Aries Scorpio energy. It's in the reverse, by the way. Um, there's a situation where something blew up here. And I feel like with the Tower in the reverse, this is something that can't come back together again. This is interesting because I feel like... One of the things I feel like what happened was I feel like you decided to leave a situation here and I feel like this person didn't allow you to leave. This person kept feeding you bullshit. This person keeps kept uh, feeding you illusions here. And I feel like this person was very, very, very in and out. Okay. Um, just kind of like all over the place here. I mean, they could have been exploring other options here too. But with the Ace of Swords here and the Ace of Cups, I mean, this is an indication that this person cares about you and loves you too. It, it just seems like this person's all over the place. I do feel like this uh, this person's energy can be a bit amped up. Like, I feel like this person, like, it tends to be that type of person that bounces off the walls. Yeah? Tell me about the Ace of Cups here. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Whoever this is, I feel like this was, I feel like this person does love you. The thing is, I feel like this person can come off very cold and emotionally aloof. Yeah, I feel like this person wasn't really showing you a lot of compassion, empathy, or something like that. I do feel like this person can be a bit mean. Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I do feel like this person might have a biting tongue here, and I feel like uh, that caused you a lot of pain, Cancer. The Tower in the Reverse. Not Cancer, I mean Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Cancer, uh, you know, with the Queen of Cups. That is Cancerian energy. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So Scorpio, you could have found out a truth about something here. Something was revealed, maybe through a text message, maybe through a, like a social media post. But I feel like after you found out, it's sort of like Scorpio, you were just like, this is it. This is it. I'm done with this. Uh, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Two of Pentacles here. And the Eight of Pentacles. It just seemed like this person, someone here was just not really putting in a lot of effort. I do feel like Scorpio, the person that you're dealing with here, was quite in and out. They were really stuck in their ego. 
this person was really egotistical or is tell me about uh the person that scorpio is dealing with or dealt with here um what karma is this person facing a wolf face for scorpio for march 2023 we have the hierophant here we have the high priestess we have the four of cups we have the eight of swords we have the ace of pentacles and the seven of pentacles the hierophant and the high priestess you know one of the things i'm getting here is that this individual is definitely in a way you know I, I feel like they could be seeing how their behavior affects others how their words affect others here and i feel like this is an individual that's actually looking deep within the, themselves here maybe doing inner work maybe trying to wise up here whoever this is this person has definitely turned to higher power definitely turned to spirituality here for help four of cups and the eight of swords here the ace of pentacles here and the seven of pentacles one of the things i'm getting here is that this person wants a new beginning here with you scorpio This person wants to invest in a new beginning here. They want to apologize to you. Whoever this is, what they've done here, I feel like it's not sitting well with them. Yeah, this is not sitting well with them because I feel like they created a really toxic environment here. You know, I do feel like this person could have used religion and spiritual used religion and spirituality to keep you in check here. You know, to keep you to keep you under their control the devil and the lovers uh, so capricorn energy and the lovers here gemini energy tell me about the four of cups we have the page of cups cancer scorpio pisces the uh, eight of swords and the knight of wands again you know i feel like this person i feel like the experience with you and them really triggered them their fears are really coming up here and they feel like these are fears that this person has never really, really tackled here. You know, I just feel like this person has always ran from it. I mean, they're definitely facing their karma here with justice here. Yeah, they're definitely facing it, but I feel like they're trying to ignore it too or turn their back on it. Like pretending like it's not happening. Um, their fears are definitely coming to the surface here. Yeah, their fears are definitely coming to the surface. So I feel like the reason why that you met this person is to give space for this individual to really look deep within themselves and i feel like this person's actually doing it yeah actually doing it because you know i feel like you know uh, i i feel like they 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 ha you're not the only victim of this i feel like their their friends their family members other people so uh someone here is definitely doing some deep inner work here yeah, someone here is just not doing well, emotionally or mentally. Yeah, I feel like this individual, uh, you know, is is getting a lot of intuitive hits, a lot of a lot of messages that's kind of like triggering this person to do some deep inner work here. All right, so Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.